What is that over there? That is the Tesla Robo Taxi. So I am with Hans right now and we just got the app to download. It was through test flight obviously because this is um, not something mass released. So Hans is downloading it, but we should be potentially within 30 minutes of, of being able to potentially do our first ride. And as you can see here, you can actually see all these raindrops. So they already delayed it two hours, but the speculation is whether or not you know, yeah, we may have got a little bit extra delay for the lovely rain, but hey, fortunately this being Texas, it came and it went in about five minutes. And so, yeah, well, I think we're still gonna ride robo taxis today. And one of the crazy things is, you know, one thing that I loved Hans called out at the beginning when we were hanging out earlier was, you know, with in very Tesla fashion, it's just, you know, things may happen today, they may get pushed out. You just have to be super flexible. And then obviously with this rain, it just kind of was that reminder that things may be out of your control. So hopefully this happens. Uh, we're looking forward to it. I know the roads are gonna be a little bit slicker, um, but it seems like things are still a go. Yep. Hey, when you wanna do the impossible, you have to accept <laughs> that it might be late. <laughs> exactly. Well, this is the RoboTaxi app. We are located, looks like the geofence is South Austin. We're, you know, everything here south of the river. Um, and we got lucky and pre-positioned ourselves right in the middle of the whole thing. <laughs> um, How did you know? <laughs> we heard rumors that it would be around Terry Black's. And so I was like, well, Terry Black's is pretty close to the river. And they said it was going to be South Austin. So let's go even further south and more uh, towards the east and just happened to uh to be there so hey what is uh what is the price there john four twenty four dollars and twenty cents Fate flat was fee high service demand yes <laughs> that is hilarious yes and uh man so we're about to hail a road taxi and hopefully we'll see uh yeah what the pickup time is <laughs> this is crazy awesome. it is happening y'all it, is, it happening. is happening How's the app UI? Pretty cool. Yeah, so this is, I mean, this is what it is right here. You've got your account information, your map, and you just say where you wanna go. Um, let's go to Barton Hills Market, and then we'll <laughs> figure out how to get back here. It says our ride is eight minutes away. All right, let's go. Let's go. What is that over there? That is the Tesla Robo Taxi. Quick shout out to Hans Nielsen, Hans C. Nielsen on X. He hooked us up today. Uh, this is a big day for, oh. for Tesla. Look, it's over here. Literally no one in the car. And I think actually it's our friend uh, that we had on our first drive. So I'm just gonna get in here. It's, it says Robo Taxi down here too, on both of the sides. And again, there's no one, there's no one in the middle. <laughs> There's, or not in the middle, there's no one in the driver's seat. So I'm gonna open that for you. And then we're gonna go ahead and get in here. So this is my second drive ever in the robo taxi. <laughs> this is just crazy. Is this going to be your safety monitor today, okay? Of course. All right, so we are officially in the robo taxi. And looks like it's gonna tell us down here to arrive in 11 minutes at 325. And again, I'm just gonna quickly highlight the fact that you can put on music with Apple Music, of course. There's a bunch of games, kind of like the Cyber Cab uh, or the robo taxi event on 1010. You can play a bunch of stuff, even YouTube music, YouTube itself. You can play a bunch of different music. You can call support or even pull over. And if you look up here, there's literally no one, no one in the driver's seat at all. It's just crazy. I mean, this is the future. <clears throat> so again, shout out to Hans. Thank you for letting me be a part of this big day. But the reality is, is that when I got my first Tesla, uh, in 2018, 
this is what I saw as the future. This is what I was expecting, what I was hoping for. And, you know, fast forward about seven years later, we are witnessing that happening. And here we are. Again, there's a bunch of traffic up here on the left coming. You can see all this traffic. There's traffic here on the right as well. Back here too, you can see all that traffic. So it's a busy Sunday, you know, beautiful weather here at Austin, but again, it's just crazy. It's like, so it navigated that left-hand turn, that unprotected left-hand turn uh, super well, but it's just like, I can't believe that there's no one in there. And so this is kind of the whole, you know, what we've been waiting for. I remember when uh, I was interviewing Elon back in 2022, um, he said that Tesla was worth what it was today or zero based on whether they saw full self driving or not, right? And this all got kicked off from what he said was um, there was that person who fell asleep at the wheel in it. I think it was a Model S at the time and unfortunately passed away and that could have been avoided because of solving something like full self driving. And I think what's the important thing here with full self driving is you have a robot that will not get tired. You have a, that's not gonna be emotional. That's not gonna react to other people. Um, it's gonna be 10 times safer, right? And also too, late night drives, you're not gonna fall asleep. So here we are, you can see this car actually coming over there. And look at this. So all of these cars over here, it's just crazy. So here, look at this. So we actually have, it's pulling over to the side See, she even waved. <laughs> she has no idea. And uh, she, again, with Hans, we were talking about how the fact that, you know, th them launching it with the Model Y is the most genius thing ever because one, this is a, a scalable. All right, so here, look at this person. Actually, like they left the door open. And then this person on the right is like uh, just the biker over there. And they were, I think they realized what was happening. Um, but you know, the, the, the Model Y is being produced today. And so you can buy this and, and at some point FSD unsupervised will hopefully be released to the masses, but this is not something you need to build. And I think it's just, um, just super, super cool in, in knowing that this is not a prototype again, Waymo, they have the Jaguar I pace with a bunch of the LIDAR. Um, and so the unit economics of of this is going to be a fraction so again even up here like we have this well they, it looks like they came out and i did see the robo taxis kind of slow down um but you know kathy wood has been quoted as saying robo uh uber costs two to four dollars and this is going to cost a fraction of that which at scale at like 20 per mile per mile Ooh. so um halted there a little bit but that person also was going a little bit fast so uh, but that's per mile and at scale this will be able to do 25 cents per mile has kind of been what has been quoted so the you know this is not a prototype this is not a like a testing model this is something that is being produced today and tesla will be able to produce this literally they'll be able to produce this um the whole waymo fleet within a day or two of production that's the crazy thing. And then they have millions of cars that they can activate and throw on this network. So again, you have this car up here going to the right, pulling over. And then I just wanna highlight the screen. It's kind of like, again, this is what's crazy about this. This is just any normal Model Y that you would see in the Juniper specifically. And you, you can see in the front, if we were sitting in the front, you would be able to pull over, stop in line, um, press the support button as well. Yeah, and those are features specifically for our wonderful safety monitor that this is not a safety driver, this is just safety monitoring. And the options that are available here are to either pull over, stop in the lane, um, and that's all that they have. And so we are operating here completely autonomously with a very limited number of options for the, the safety monitor, which shows the confidence that Tesla has in this software that when Waymo launched, they definitely had those safety drivers in the seats so they could take over the controls if necessary. And uh, that is something that is different uh, this time around with the launch of the Tesla RoboTaxi network. Yeah, it's, 
Uh, what do you, what does today mean to you, Hans? What are you excited about here? Uh, it's uh, you know, it's a very just momentous day that right now we have a computer that and robot <laughs> and robot that just takes in camera data from the world around it it looks at the world through eyes like we do and then drives itself this is a, a computer doing work the way that humans do in a very complicated environment i mean whether you drive for work or not if you're an adult human there's a good chance that you have to drive a lot as part of your responsibilities and um, this can actually do that for you and it is just the beginning of what the promise of artificial intelligence plus robotics can do that there's a lot of work that if we didn't have to do it we certainly wouldn't want to do it and artificial intelligence plus robots can do a lot of that for us and man I'm excited about a future where not only can I go to sleep in my car have it drive me overnight to a destination drop me off in the morning um, but then the same fundamental principles that allow this robo taxi to work will also apply to the Tesla Optimus robot so then I can do my laundry and <laughs> wash my dishes and all of those things that you know are such a waste of time for adults and uh, we are getting very close to so check this out look at all these humans up here walking across that it stopped for and only afterwards they realize there's no driver So we're coming to the end of our ride right now, about one minute left. The future is here. The future is autonomous. Full on robots. So I just wanna give a quick shout out to Hans. Please give him a, a follow today. Uh, not only is he a huge uh, contributor on our podcast, but you know, he has some of the best knowledge in really the Tesla industry, specifically FSD, and he just breaks down everything simply. And you may have seen him on Farzad's channel, but follow him on X or YouTube, really Hans C. Nilsson on X, but thank you for letting me be a part of the big day, man. Thanks for coming. And yeah, obviously I'm not super comfortable with uh, all of the praises i guess um but i am super thankful to get to be part of this moment and um yeah thanks for being here with me this is awesome all right so we're finishing up the ride and this is and look there's even a sign yep. and it's navigating around it look at that and let's uh before we hop out just all of the props go to elon musk tesla the tesla ai team and the entire tesla team